Hey guys, so I'm in a hotel room in Edmonton, Alberta. I have a meeting uh, in the morning up here. This is the capital of the province of Alberta and um, I, I come up here a few times a year at least uh, for different meetings. I'll actually probably be up here again next month. Um, but anyway, so I'm in a hotel room and um, it's a it's pretty much an all day drive for me to get up here. Um, and then once I got up here, uh, given the season, I decided to go to the West Edmonton Mall, which is the biggest shopping mall um, in North America, I believe, and one of the biggest in the world. And uh, try to take care of some of my Christmas shopping. But you know, I'm really not a mall guy, so. Believe it or not, even with a with such a, a huge mall, it's mostly just chain stores and um, things that you're going to find pretty much in, in every city uh, in North America. I mean, we're really getting homogenous these days, and um, very hard to find anything that's um, that's not mass produced or that it has any local flavor at all. So I really struggled. I didn't really find much um, in terms of things to buy for Christmas and I, I walked around for three hours uh, in a mall and uh, came up pretty much empty handed. Anyway, um, it's, it's getting late at night here. Um, I just finished testing myself on the power twister for today. Uh, but I want to do um, some more exercises. I'll probably record a little montage of different hotel room exercises. Uh, I might do some tonight. I might do some in the morning. Um, but uh, I also need to rest. I've had the flu. Um, finally, the flu bug for the season got me over the weekend. And uh, so I've had the flu for four days and I've been self-medicating off of the herbs that I picked over the summer. Um, the flu started off as a sore throat and uh, mucus in, uh, in my nasal passages and so um, how I treated that was I used uh, manicuppi which is wild bergamot and uh, mountain sweet sicily what we call bakkui sakas and I made a tea with that, and I drank several pots of that tea over the weekend, just really uh, keeping myself hydrated with that tea. And um, the, the licorice works the throat uh, to soothe the, the sore throat. And the mani guppy is a really strong menthol, and that cleans out the nasal passages pretty good. Um, then uh, yesterday, the 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 whole thing moved down into my chest, and so I switched tactics. I'm still using the money guppy, um, which is the menthol stuff, um, but I added to it uh, gum weed, which is a real resinous um, aster flower. And when you have, you know, a nagging cough and that kind of thing. We put that uh, gum weed, which we call Uxpi, um, into the tea, and it, it, it makes sure you're not going to be uh, stressing your lungs, coughing. It, it knocks it out of the out of the picture. So, like right now, I mean, I'm not coughing, and I'm, I'm not coughing because I've been drinking a lot of the gum weed tea. Um, I also added nettle. Um, to the tea just to give me some extra vitamin boost. And so I wanted to show you, you know, this is what I, this is my tea. Um, just brought a jar of it. I don't need nearly this much, but I brought a whole, a whole jar, a whole mixture of the nettle, the gum weed, um, and the mani cuppy. And I'll show you these. Um, you can get these bags. I don't know, I've, I've seen now that there's lots of these specialty 
uh, tea shops showing up in the malls and stuff. Haven't been in them because I don't, I don't care to buy herbal teas when I collect my own and it's local. But, um, but what I do is you can buy these kind of net, um, these mesh uh, tea bags, they're reusable tea bags. Um, so I just carry you know three or four of them with me in the jar. Um, where I get these is from an Asian grocery market uh, because um, the you know, Asian culture is really, um, uh, uh, they know their teas and so um, they have their own you know, straining filters. So this is what I use. Uh, I put a little bit of a little bit of this in here. I put this right here. I just I'm just brewing this cup. You can see it's done here, and I'll let this stuff drip out, and uh, I'll reuse um, this this tea bag with the herbs in it. Probably the whole while that I'm staying here this evening, I might switch to a new tea bag in the morning. But these herbs are pretty potent. Um, they can keep going for a while. So this is what the tea, the consistency of it looks yellow. Um, and it's, um, it's, it's bitter. It's a bitter tea. Um, but it really does the trick. Like I haven't had to use the, the um, over-the-counter medicines or anything like that. And uh, I think if I was in a different position, if I wasn't using these herbs, I would be, I wouldn't be doing power twister exercises. I wouldn't be, you know, still before I came up here to Edmonton, I was still going out in the morning and doing my exercises at the pond, um, doing my workouts at the pond and that kind of thing in my kata practice, my form practice. I wouldn't be doing that with the flu if uh, if I didn't have these, in, in, you know, these traditional medicines. So, you know, the traditional medicines, they really do, they work. Sometimes if I'm able to catch it really early with that, with that sweet Sicily and money cup tea, you know, when I just start feeling the, the, the sickness coming on, if I just douse myself with a, with a couple of pots of that tea right away and I just drink, drink it like crazy, sometimes I can knock that, that sickness right out of my system before it even takes hold but this one has taken hold and um, I don't have to suffer with feeling that bad because uh, this tea uh, it really helps me it, you know it's it's taking care of the symptoms and it's also keeping me really hydrated and flushing the, the bad stuff out of my system and that's what you need to do so that's just something I wanted to share I also want to show you um, uh, a couple of things um, just to share with you about about uh, what I'm like when I travel. Um, I, I try not to eat a lot of fast food when I travel, so I stop at a grocery store um, and, uh, and I pick up groceries, um, things that you can eat. Um, the you know can eat in a day uh, and uh, don't they're not gonna go bad without refrigeration in one day um, so for instance for me um, I stopped and I picked up um, a nice uh, Greek salad and you know nice colorful Greek salads it's got all kinds of vitamins in it you got cucumbers you got onions you got tomatoes you got feta cheese um, and you got olives, of course, and uh, a really tasty uh, Greek salad. So that's one thing I would, I happened to look out. They had a mini fridge here, which a lot of hotel rooms do. So you can, be, I usually will, you know, I'll buy some things that require refrigeration, but um, uh, that aren't really going to go quickly bad if I if I end up in the room and I don't have refrigeration. The other thing I got that need refrigeration was I got a, uh, a sharp cheddar cheese ball um, and I pick up some crackers and I'm going to have some cheddar um, crackers and I'm going to have my, um, my Greek salad and that's going to be my nutrition this evening. Um, way better than eating fast food, road food and uh, 
far less expensive than going to a nice restaurant. Nice restaurants are, are, are cool and everything, but when I'm traveling alone, I feel like I'm just wasting money if I'm, if I'm going out to eat all the time. So stop at a grocery store. That's, that's one of my things that I do when I'm traveling. Um, another thing uh, I wanted to show you, uh, a little piece of equipment that I often have with me, um, not just when I'm traveling to hotels and stuff, but uh, I usually carry it with me um, during the work day too. Um, and it can go in your pocket, it can go in your, you know, your bag or whatever. And this is a homemade piece of, it, of uh, martial arts equipment, training equipment. And what it is is it's a, it's a piece of rubber, like a piece of rubber from a from a tire, um, cut into kind of a square with rounded sides, and see it's wrapped in leather it's got leather wrapped around the around the um, uh, the whole um, uh, diameter of it and then and then a leather pad on each side and an elastic hooked up to it uh, underneath the leather so and this is all just cemented together rubber cement kind of a thing and you slip the elastic over your hand and what you have here is like a little little uh, one hand makawara board uh, for hardening your knuckles. We're not really going to train you for any power or anything like that but but just to, just to keep your knuckles in shape so you can pound it and help you uh, keep the calluses um, nice and developed on your knuckles and so this um, actually a friend of mine made this for me about about 10 years ago and I've used it lots and it's still it's holding up good and um, so this didn't cost me a dime you can't find them at the store you gotta make your own and just just takes a couple of pieces of leather a little piece of elastic you can buy at the fabric store some rubber cement and a bit of old tire so um, that's something that I, I take with me um, quite often. Uh, this trip I decided to take the power twister with me as well. Um, another one of my, my strategies when I'm on, on the road, I like to try to minimize my um, ecological footprint to what extent I can when I'm staying in a hotel. So a lot of times um, what I'll do is if they have a couch in the room, I'll sleep on the couch rather than on the bed because I don't know maybe I can get a, maybe I can I can sleep on the couch and the, and the room service will come in the next day they'll see that the bed uh, wasn't slept in so they won't turn it and so you don't have to um, uh, clean those sheets um, I'll make sure I just use one towel the whole time I'm here not the whole set of towels that are up there I don't need a washcloth separate from a hand towel separate from a bath towel I just use one towel um, uh, if that, I'll show you this as well. Um, I have a, uh, a bar of soap that I got from uh, another hotel. You can see this bar of soap here. I got that from a Coast Plaza hotel um, some time ago. And so I, I just bring it with me and I keep it in a, you know, a Ziploc um, sandwich bag and I use that rather than using, you know, a new soap at every hotel and just using, using, you know, using this bar uh, that they offer you, you know, two or three times and then, and then leaving it. Instead of doing that, um, I bring my own soap that I'm, I'm reusing again um, from uh, another occasion. I do the same with the shampoos and stuff. Um, I don't like to use uh, a lot of plastic, um, which you know you can see here too. Um, rather than, I mean, they offer you the styrofoam cup or the glass cup. So what are you going to use? Use the glass cup, and that way you're not creating waste. So all of this stuff, you know, I try to. Uh, uh, because when you're traveling, you can um, get involved in, in using a lot of 
uh, disposable stuff, and I don't think that's good. I think you need to be a little bit conscious of what you're doing and try to minimize um, your impact when you're traveling. So that's just an introduction to uh, my hotel stay, and hopefully I'll have a little montage of, um, of hotel room workout uh, by morning time or, or, or maybe uh, tomorrow I'll load it, we'll see.